Hello and welcome back to the Fusion Minis. Today's episode 32 will be about creating macros. And it works somewhat like this. Let's say you have built an awesomely cool animation, something like this maybe. This foggy, bubbly, whatever thing. And you know you are going to use it hundreds of times in the upcoming weeks. That's where you want to use macros, because they are such a huge time saver. What's basically happening is that we are bundling several nodes to become only one node in the end that then can be saved and reused in other projects. Okay, in my case, I have to select all these nodes here on the left, then right click on one of them Go to macro, create macro. Easy so far. Here I can give it a name. I call mine alien bubble. Alien bubble. And at this stage, I can choose the parameters that I want to be accessible from within the macro. From within the macro. Is that right? Is that correct English? From within the macro? Yeah. Guys, I think you know what I mean. Um, let's say detail, brightness, contrast, um, and maybe, yeah, the scale of my whole mesh, and so on and so forth. If you forget something here, don't panic. You can always edit it later on. Then go up to File, Save As. Alien Bubble, that's right. Fusion is by default directing you to the right path. Save. And now it's being saved. Let's hop over into the next composition and guess what? Add tool, macros, here is my alien bubble. Ooh, only one note. Detail, brightness, contrast, scale exactly what I want it. Fit, here's the bubble. Ooh. And yes, I can change all these things. And I can, like I told you, add it my macro. Here it is. And to go even one step further, save as, I can now explore. I can now copy this and send it to my friends, colleagues, or maybe the internet. Okay, um, thank you very, very much. That's how you create macros inside of Blackmagic Fusion. I hope you liked this episode. If so, you know what to do. Bye for now. Bye.